Hello boys and girls, a very good afternoon and welcome to this live session uh, brought to you by Talent Sprint. And as you all must be aware, the notification for the recruitment of Group A and Group B posts in the IBPS RRB, which is the regional rural banks, has been released yesterday. So I am here to talk about some important details from this notification and share it with all of you. Right. So at the outset, I think congratulations to all of you for getting yet another opportunity which was uh, expected to come, uh, uh, you know, uh, this time around. And uh, I think it's a, it's a great chance for all of you to get started with your career in, in the banking sector, right? Now, let me tell you that IBPS RRB, IBPS is the Institute for Banking Personal Selection, which conducts the exam for recruitment of officers as well as uh, assistants, which is generally referred to as the clerical cadre in all the uh, nationalized banks across the country and they have also got the responsibility to recruit uh, you know officers and assistants for these regional rural banks right now I am not the uh, expert to talk about regional rural banks uh, our uh, colleague and my friend Sridhar can give you more details about it and I'm sure videos are already available about what these regional rural banks are and how are these formed but to give, just give, uh, give you a gist uh, from the name itself you know that these are regional banks so banks pertaining to a particular region states in our case right and these are rural banks right these are not uh, uh, in 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 the urban area right these are in the rural areas and these are uh, these have been set up for financial inclusion right these have been set up for people who are in those rural areas and who uh, who need uh, banking services right so these banks are referred to as the regional rural banks right they are regional in the first place and they are set up for the purpose of including uh, people from the rural areas right uh, in, in the financial inclusion now these banks are set up with the collaboration between uh, the government of the particular region and a particular bank of that state right i mean a non-regional rural bank of that state this is the high level uh, understanding of what an RRB is and I'm sure you will find out more details and you can just watch the videos that Sridhar has made on uh, banking and general awareness to know more about it. So this recruitment is for uh, officers and assistants in these banks, in such banks. I think there are about 56 such regional rural banks who are going to participate in this recruitment, right? Yeah, uh, if you look at the notification, I have a copy here. Basically, this is a very detailed notification about 49 pages i'm not gonna run through all these pages you can check it out in detail but then if you see uh, the first part here is the participating rrbs the participating regional rural banks and there are about 56 of these banks just to name a few we have the Allahabad up gramin bank then we have central madhya pradesh gramin bank uh, then we have jharkhand gramin bank Mi mizoram rural bank right we have maharashtra gramin bank uh, Vidarbha Konkan Gramin Bank and so on right so you can understand that these are for different regions across the country so 56 of these banks and uh, uh, you know spread across various regions there now let us first talk about the important dates right the tentative schedule of events I'm sure all of you can uh, uh, look at the calendar here which is uh, shown uh, on the screen now important dates are actually important to know right so when does the application start the application starts tomorrow which is 8th of June and I think the last date to apply is 2nd of July so from 8th June to 2nd July is the window for online registration including the payment of fee right the only way you can apply is online so you have got a good window of about uh, three weeks to complete the application from 8th June to 2nd July as you can see there now whether you're applying for office assistants or officers scale 1 or officers scale 2 or scale 3 this is the window to apply right like I said the recruitment is for two different cadres one is officers again within officers there are three categories scale 1 scale 2 and scale 3 and the second cadre is office assistants which are for you know various purposes right multi-purpose office assistants so for all the uh, categories for all the types of posts the application will be open from uh, tomorrow which is 8th of june to uh, 2nd of july right so very very important that you complete your application at the earliest possible and and stick to these dates there now recruitment now now we are going to focus more on office assistants and officers scale one in our discussion because uh, 
uh, for scale 2 and scale 3 uh, there is a minimum experience required in the relevant post these are like specialist officers recruitment so if if you are uh, appearing for scale 2 or scale 3 you can check the notification yourself in detail right and there are some additional criteria to be met for you to apply for that uh, post but for officers scale 1 and for office assistance there is no desired experience right of course there is a preference for certain types of candidates or candidates who have done their graduation in certain uh, streams but then there is no minimum experience required okay so starting with online application now the recruitment for both officers scale one as well as office assistance is going to happen in three phases phase one is the preliminary examination phase two is the main examination and phase three is going to be interview or document verification right so let's say you are applying for office assistance you will have preliminary examination followed by main exam followed by document verification because for assistance uh, interview won't be there but in case you are applying for officer scale one then you will have the preliminary examination followed by main examination followed by an interview and let me tell you some very important uh, one very important point here for both the categories officers as well as office assistants the proficiency in the local language is a must and it's rightly so see understand you will be positioned in a rural bank you will not be working in urban areas these banks are located in rural areas of the country or of various regions so that we can include people from those areas right uh, into the you know financial sector now it is very very important that you be able to connect with those people in the rural areas and that can happen only when you can speak the local language right so one advantage is you will be working in your own state right like for example if you are from maharashtra right you will know the regional language as prescribed in the notification you will be positioned in some part of maharashtra right similarly if you are from let's say andhra pradesh and the local language is telugu there right so your proficiency in telugu is a must if you cannot speak telugu then you will not be uh, eligible for this job right because you cannot connect with your customer right whether you are uh, assistant or an officer there in the bank you should know the local language so local languages have been prescribed here uh, i think it was there in the first uh, section itself where they had given the list of rrbs like for example if if i say assam gramin vikas bank now very clearly this is for the region of assam the desired local languages or the proficiency as prescribed by this participating rrb the assam gramin vikas bank is assam is bengali or bodo right so you must be proficient in uh, you know these languages assam is or bengali or bodo similarly if you look at the vidarbha konkan gramin bank right uh, its uh, head office is in nagpur right the region is maharashtra or the state is maharashtra and the language desired is marathi so if you can speak marathi you will be able to uh, apply for this particular bank and the other banks where the proficiency required is marathi okay so the the importance of the local language is uh, you know critical here you should know the local language so very important dates of application 8th to june to 2nd of july uh, for officer scale 1 there will be preliminary exam followed by main exam followed by interview for office assistant there will be a preliminary examination followed by main examination followed by document verification dates are all available here but i can quickly uh, mention the important ones the online preliminary examination for officer scale 1 is starting on 11th of august right for officer scale 1 11th of august 12th august and 18th august is optional if required if they have got enough or more number of applications then they may conduct the exam on 18th of august as well and the online preliminary examination for office assistance is starting from 19th august onwards 19th 25th and 19th august 25th august and 1st of september the dates are mentioned here now for those of you who have a question about uh, you know question if i can apply for both the posts the answer is yes you can apply for both office assistants as well as officer scale one and that is the precise reason that the examination dates are different right they'll finish the preliminary examination for officer scale one from 11th august to 18th august and after that the preliminary examination for office assistance is scheduled from 19th august onwards right and the dates are 19th august 25th august and 1st of september once the preliminary examination is done you will get your results right again dates are there uh, uh, result of online examination will be declared in september in the month of september and what follows next is the online examination for i mean the main examination 
again that's also going to be online and the main exam for uh, officers scale one is going to be held on 30th september and for office assistance will be on 7th of october and after this you will have your declaration of result in the month of october you will get call letters for interview in the month of november your interviews will start in november itself and the provisional allotment will be done by january uh, 2019 right i think we have got two slides here on the dates but the details are anyway available you can just check those out so important application starts immediately tomorrow till 2nd of july the preliminary examination will be held in the month of august the main examination will be held towards the end of september and the first week of october and interviews will be done in the month of november so if i if i look at these dates now what do you understand your first phase in this recruitment starts in the month of august we are in june right 7th of june so you have about two months left for your preparation right complete june complete july and one week in let's say august so two months or eight weeks and i'm sure eight weeks of preparation is good enough for you to get ready for this examination and the fact that most of you are also appearing for other exams like svipo sba clerks ssc cgl which are due in a few days from now you are already you have already kickstart your preparation there's nothing uh, different that you'll have to do here right the syllabus is largely the same it's just that the format of your exam will be different the scheme of exam will be different and hence you have to tweak your preparation accordingly or rather tweak your practice accordingly you have to take the relevant practice test and mock test okay but then let me assure you that two months of time or eight weeks of time is good enough for you to get ready right even if you're starting your preparation now you should be able to get ready for this exams whether you'll qualify or not is secondary right let's not uh, get into that discussion now but two months of time is enough so if you are serious about this preparation start it right away and i can assure you that you will be able to walk in the examination center with full of confidence all right so let's make the most of this two months maximize your preparation and just uh, boost your chances of selection now what i'll quickly focus next is uh, on the scheme of examination right how the preliminary exam would be conducted how will the main exam be conducted as in how as in what will be the breakup across various subjects and number of questions and time allotted and stuff like that all right so let me quickly go to the next uh, part here which is the scheme of exam so let's first talk about the preliminary examination right the preliminary examination for office assistants and the preliminary examination for officers scale one there are a lot of details available in the notification by the way you can just check it yourself don't take a print like i have done and and waste paper i had to do it so that i can read it out in front of you but you can just uh, download the pdf it's available on our website uh, talentspin.com or you can also check out our learning platform where all the details are available and in this 49 page notification i have lost where the scheme of exam is or i think let's let's first talk about the eligibility criteria eligibility criteria is important yeah so let me first take you through the eligibility criteria okay yeah so let's talk about eligibility criteria can we check that all right so let me uh, talk about the eligibility criteria now as you can see uh, the first uh, criteria to be met here is a nationality or citizenship which is usually the case in most of the notifications so you have to be a citizen of india or a subject of nepal or a subject of bhutan or a tibetan refugee who's come over to india before 1st january 1962 with the intention of permanently settling in india or and so on right so let's not get into details if it is applicable for you check the details out otherwise simple i mean i'm sure most of us are citizens of india so you don't have to worry about it so citizens of india is point number one let's move to point number two age the age criteria is important so if you can just move to the next slide we will look at the age criteria right so if you see for uh office assistants right for office assistants uh the age criteria is this between 18 years and 28 years which means candidate should have been born or should have not been born earlier than 2nd june 1990 and later than 1st june 2000 okay earlier than 2nd june 1990 and later than 1st june 2000 all right officers scale one and office assistance both the details are given here on the slide okay so for officers scale one 
officers scale one which is like assistant manager you have to be above 18 years and below 30 years and to be very precise the candidates should not have been born earlier than 3rd uh, june 2000 uh, earlier than 3rd june 1988 and later than uh, 31st may 2000 similarly the dates for office assistance is also given there so eligibility criteria covers your nationality which is your citizenship and your age uh, requirement now next is the educational qualification education qualification is also important so let's quickly look at the education qualification the next section yeah again like i said i am focusing only on office assistants and officer scale one if you are aspiring for officer scale two or scale three details are all available in the notification so officer scale one or let me first look at office assistants multi-purpose right what is the eligibility criteria education qualification bachelor's degree in any discipline from a recognized university or its equivalent right now proficiency in local language as prescribed by the participating rrbs we have already discussed about this right you have to be proficient in the local language as prescribed by the bank the regional rural bank and desirable uh, condition here is that you have to have working knowledge of a computer you should know how to use a computer and that is the reason if you uh, you know when we move forward and check the syllabus you will note that in their main examination they have computer knowledge as a section it carries a weightage of 20 marks right so, so we'll uh, look at that as well so basically you have to be a graduate you have to be uh, possessing a bachelor's degree in from a, in any discipline from a recognized university or its equivalent and then should have the proficiency in the local language as prescribed by the participating rrb and you should have uh, you know uh, basic computer knowledge how about officers uh, scale one which is like assistant managers the bachelor's degree in any discipline from a recognized university or its equivalent Preference will be given to candidates having degree in agriculture, horticulture, forestry, animal husbandry, uh, veterinary science, agricultural engineering, PC culture, agricultural marketing and cooperation, information technology, management, law, economics and accountancy. Now look at this. This is for what? This is for assistant managers. If you apply for officer scale one, your post is like assistant manager in that participating RRB. Now, it says you have to have a bachelor's degree from a recognized university in any, any discipline, but preference will be given to certain sections as you can see here, right? People who have a uh, uh, degree in agriculture, horticulture, animal, has, uh, animal husbandry, uh, agricultural engineering, pisciculture and so on. Now, why is it so? Why do you think uh, uh, that's the desired uh, discipline that they're looking for? Simple. You will be placed in regional rural banks you'll be working in a rural area and most of the people in such regions are you know into agriculture or into you know let's say uh, cattle breeding or into animal husbandry so for you to be able to you know decide if that person is eligible for a loan or not you have to have knowledge of that particular field right so that is the reason that's the desired uh, educational requirement that they have given it doesn't mean that you have done engineering in uh, let's say uh, you have done electrical engineering and you cannot apply you can still apply but preference will be given to candidates who have got uh, degree in the mentioned disciplines right so that's the requirement again proficiency in local language is required even for these guys you can uh, check that and uh, working knowledge of computer all right so that's about the qualification right you have to have a degree in any uh, discipline from a recognized university you must be proficient in the local language and uh, for officers scale one there is a list of desired disciplines so if you ha have done your graduation or bachelor's in any of those disciplines you will be given preference over others and details of others are also available officer scale two officers scale two specialist officers and chartered accountants senior managers where you know some minimum experience is required so having done that let me quickly move to the scheme of examination right how is the uh, preliminary examination going to be conducted and how is the main exam going to be conducted right so let's look at the next set of items here the scheme of examination right now preliminary examination for office assistance multi-purpose the details are available on your screen here very simple you have to uh, showcase your knowledge in two areas reasoning and numerical ability 
both the sections will have 40 questions each the maximum marks is 40 marks each and there will be a composite time of 40, 45 minutes this is similar to what happened last year there is no change here so you will have two sections reasoning and numerical ability 40 questions per section 40 marks per section and total time of 45 minutes so if you see overall you will be required to attempt 80 questions which will carry a weightage of 80 marks in just about 45 minutes of time and this is where the challenge lies the preliminary ex uh, examination is going to be the tricky part here right because time management is very very important you have just 45 minutes to attempt 80 questions which means just about half a minute per question so you have to be really quick and sharp when you are going for this preliminary examination because 45 minutes like just passes by right and and when you're sitting in an examination it's like a blink of an eye right so you have to uh, be very very quick there of course your preparation and your practice is more important concepts all of us would know if the same 80 questions are asked uh, with two hours of time all of us will score 80 on 80 no doubts but how many of us will score the maximum in 45 minutes is what matters so so the knowledge definitely is important but speed plays a key role right you have to be really very very fast so that's about the uh, preliminary examination uh, for office assistants let me tell you the medium of exam as you can see is both english as well as hindi right both english and hindi okay so while proficiency may be required in various languages as prescribed by the participating rrp you, your exam will be held in two mediums english and english or hindi you can choose whatever you want to let's now look at the uh, scheme of exam for officers scale one right uh, which is as given here it is exactly the same as uh, preliminary examination for office assistants the only difference as you can spot here it's like spotting the error right or spot the difference if you compare the previous uh, scheme with this one the preliminary examination for of office assistants with preliminary examination of these guys what is the difference the only difference is there it was numerical ability here it is quantitative aptitude everything else is same you see reasoning quantitative aptitude 40 questions 40 questions 40 marks 40 marks composite time of 45 minutes so overall 80 questions 80 marks 45 minutes exam will be held in english and hindi both you can choose your uh, language there except the section quantitative aptitude which was numerical ability in the previous case now what is the difference well if you are appearing for office assistance post your numerical skills are important because that's the clerical cadre right you will be the one who will be sitting in that uh, counter right i've been at the counter and uh, doing you know actual actually interacting with the customer you will be responsible for withdrawals and deposits and stuff like that so your numerical skills are important and that's the reason they test you on numerical skills when it comes to office assistance whereas for offices scale one it's more of quantitative aptitude which includes numerical skills it's not that numerical skills are not desired for officers scale one even for officers numerical skills are important but then they'll be tested on various arithmetic aptitude topics like you know let's say percentages profit and loss simple and compound interest data interpretation and uh, time and work time and distance and you know the list of topics there okay so if you guys are worried about what the difference between numerical skills and quantitative aptitude is let me tell you don't worry you have to prepare for quantitative aptitude for both the posts. I'm sure most of you will apply for both the posts, right? Officer scale one as well as office assistants. So don't think that the preparation is going to be different. The preparation is same. It's just that when you practice for office assistants, you should practice more on, you know, uh, simplifications, approximations, number series, because these type of topics carry more weightage. And you'll find that there is more number of questions on these areas. Whereas when it comes to office assistants, uh, officer scale one, you may have less number of questions on those topics and more questions on general arithmetic aptitude and data interpretation. But then irrespective of the name of the subject, you have to prepare on all the topics. So don't really worry about what the difference is or the syllabus is different or not. Syllabus is exactly the same. The naming there gives us an idea that more of numerical skills will be tested in the assistance exam when compared to the officer's exam. All right, but my uh, my logic is simple. Every question of quantitative aptitude, or for that matter, numerical ability, will have numbers in it. Will have numbers in it. For you to answer every single question in quantitative aptitude, you have to deal with numbers: addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. If you cannot do these arithmetic calculations, if you don't have the right numerical skills, you will not be able to arrive at the answer. Or, or you may get the answer, but then 
the amount of time that you spend largely depends on your numerical ability, your your ability to do mental calculations, your skills in speed maths and things like that. Okay, so whether it is quantitative aptitude or numerical ability, calculations are very very important. And remember, only 45 minutes. You have just about 30 seconds per question. So you have to be really very very uh, quick in your calculations and definitely accurate in your calculations. So the one thing that all of you should do starting from today, application starts only tomorrow, but from today, the one thing that all of you have to do is practice on speed maths for at least 30 minutes per day. Of course, we will meet again for a detailed study plan where I'll tell you, uh, you know, how to spend your day, how to spend your time in preparing various topics on various topics. But one thing which can be taken as a thumb rule is spend at least 30 minutes per day for the next 60 days, for the next two months, so that you can maximize your score in this exam or especially in this particular section there. Okay. So that's about the scheme of exam for uh, the preliminary round. Let us now go to the main examination, right? The main exam for both officers scale one as well as office assistants. So here we have got the details of uh, main examination for office assistants, right? Which will be held in which month? I think September, right? End of September and first week of October. Look at it. How many sections? Five sections. Number one, reasoning. Number two, numerical ability. No different from what happened in preliminary examination. Number three, general awareness. So this is the new entry here. Number four, English language or in fact if you see there is 4A and 4B and both of which have got a star uh, asterisk there, right? So 4A is English language, 4B is Hindi language, which means you have to choose for one of these papers. You'll either be tested on 4A or 4B depending on your language preference. And fifth section is computer knowledge. Now if you if you have a doubt that how are they going to check my uh, proficiency in computers or my knowledge of computers, it is through this particular section of main examination. So five sections here, number one, numerical ability, number two, uh, reasoning, number three, general awareness, number four is the language, English or Hindi, and number five is computer knowledge. Look at the number of questions, 40 in each section, straight, 40 questions, five sections, 200 questions, total. Look at the maximum marks that you can score, 50 each in numerical ability and uh, reasoning, right? Numerical ability and reasoning, 50 each. In the general awareness and the language section, you can score 40 marks each maximum and in computer knowledge, you can score 20 marks. So 50, 50, 40, 40, 20. So that makes it 100 plus 80 plus 20, 200. So 200 questions, 200 marks. Of course, the questions of numerical ability and reasoning uh, have got higher weightage. Each question carries 1.25 marks, whereas the computers of computer knowledge, sorry, whereas the questions of computer knowledge carries a weightage of only half a mark. That's the syllabus for the main examination. A composite time of two hours will be given. Now, the one change which was being anticipated in the IBPS RRB exam was the uh, sectional time limit, which has never happened. You know that both IBPS POs IBPS clerks, SBI PO and SBI clerks has got sectional time for the main exam. Each section has got its predefined time. You will not be given a composite time there. But when it comes to the RRB exams, office assistants as well as officers scale one, there is a composite time of two hours. So you've got two hours to attempt 200 questions and get your maximum score there. Let's move on to the uh, syllabus of, uh, you know, officers scale one, right, which is right here on the screen and again this exactly is similar to what happened in uh, uh, in case of office assistance right everything is same except uh, numerical ability changing to quantitative aptitude so i don't really have to spend time here you all know that there will be five sections reasoning quantitative aptitude or numerical ability depending on the Cater there, you'll have general awareness, you will have English or Hindi language as fourth section, and the fifth section is computer knowledge. Each section will have 40 questions, so that makes a total of 200 questions. The questions of reasoning and quantitative aptitude or numerical ability will carry a weightage of 1.25 marks each. So, total 50 marks for those two sections. I mean, each of those two sections. Question, uh, sections of uh, English language or Hindi language and general awareness will have one mark per question. So, 40 questions, 40 marks. Computer knowledge in both the cases has got 40 questions, but only 20 marks, 40 questions, 20 marks. So total 200 marks, composite time of two hours. Simple. Now here again, there is a problem with time. 
you have 200 questions to attempt with only two hours of time which is 120 minutes so this again is you know time crunchy only 36 seconds per question but preliminary examination is even uh, more competitive i would say right because there you have 80 questions and only 45 minutes now that again may look like almost the same but 45 minutes for 80 questions is in my view a lot more difficult when compared to 120 minutes for 200 questions you, you're getting it the amount of time that you're going to spend on the whole paper see 45 minutes just gets over like this you know by the time you start the exam you will be like okay only 40 minutes left you, you understand the the time would run really quick and and the pressure of that examination hall the pressure of so many people taking the exam around you now quickly the last section which is about the vacancies all right so i'm sure many of you must be waiting for this now there's a huge list of banks given here right i mean you know that there are 56 participating rrbs each of these participating rrbs will have vacancies for office assistants they'll have vacancies for officer scale one they'll have vacancies for officer scale two scale three and so on but then what i have got here for you is the number of vacancies at state level because i'm sure you're not really worried about the bank that you want to work for right it's only the state you will be given you will be asked for your preference of state not the preference of the bank as far as i know so i have just clubbed the uh, number of vacancies as a name of the state there column number two talks about the vacancies for office assistants and column three is for vacancies of officer scale one yeah of course in the notification you'll find vacancies for uh, scale two and scale three officers as well check it if you are aspiring to appear for those exams Vikas Ahuja says from which state should we apply? Vikas Ahuja, you should apply for a state for which the prescribed local language is known to you. You should be proficient in that local language. Right? You are from Maharashtra and you want to apply for Andhra Pradesh just because number of vacancies in Andhra Pradesh are more doesn't make sense because you should then know Telugu. If you are proficient in Telugu, then you can apply for Andhra Pradesh. But then uh, otherwise you should apply for Maharashtra again just because you are from Maharashtra does not mean that you have to apply for Maharashtra you should be proficient in Marathi for that matter, for that uh, to happen right so just look at the proficiency I mean the language proficiency that is desired by the participating RRB or the region and apply accordingly yeah the breakup for SCs, STs, OBCs, general category, PWD all that is also given here uh, detail this thing but let's not worry about it so those are the states I'm sure whichever is applicable for you you can check and similarly uh, the other states here right the remaining states overall there are 8000 plus jobs let me keep it simple right there are about 8000 office assistants and officers scale one vacancies across the 56 participating regional rural banks so in my view a wonderful opportunity please make the most of it make sure that you apply before 2nd of uh, july and get started with the preparation the sure shot way to succeed is to start preparing right away right don't procrastinate don't delay your preparation don't try to get the best study plan or the best strategy and only then you will start your preparation no the best study plan is to start now key rule start right away and maximize your preparation in this limited time now i know many of you would uh, prefer having a study plan and we also uh, believe in that so what we will do is very soon in our uh, talent spins uh, learning portal we will add study plan for both uh, officer scale one as well as uh, office assistants we will also do a live class very soon i think based on the timelines uh, 60 day study plan would be suitable right and like i said what matters in the 60 day study plan is not what concepts you have to learn and all that because i'm assuming you have already started learning various concepts for various other exams like sba po sba clerks and uh, ssc cgl right so that's not the key the key is how will you practice for these particular formats the preliminary examination that these guys will conduct the main examination that will be conducted for ibps rrp so your practice in in the required format is very very important so we will plan uh, uh, i mean we'll have a study plan accordingly right again it, it's not something that all of you must follow it is a prescription based on your own strengths and weaknesses you can tweak it and you know uh, align align your uh, uh, preparation accordingly right so point number one we will add study plan 60 day study plan for office assistants and officers scale one in the study plan section of our website i mean for those who have already enrolled in talent students uh, exam prep coaching 
you can just enroll you, you know without paying anything right it's free 20 percent of the content is free for all of you which will be enough for your basic preparation of course if you want to prepare like exam toppers and you know do a high level preparation then you can upgrade to advanced coaching inside the portal but free coaching is available i am sure all of you are seeing these details right you can just visit talentspin.com slash exam prep right talentspin.com slash exam prep to register for free coaching and explore all these study plans right so study plans will be made available uh, by tomorrow and we will also do live sessions for you guys on the same study plan so that you can understand it in detail and by the way we have live sessions every wednesday free live sessions every wednesday on quantitative aptitude reasoning ability and english language for preparing for various exams for your preparation for various exams again you can access those things only if you subscribe for the free coaching so i think what you should do immediately is visit talentspin.com slash exam prep subscribe for the free coaching right and and get started with your preparation and yes make sure that you complete your application on time the last date to apply for ibps rrb exams is on is this second of july all right so i think that's all i had for you there are a lot of other details that you must see in the notification so go through the notification in detail yourself based on what is applicable for you in terms of your category in terms of your educational qualification in terms of uh, the state that you belong to and things like that and be prepared to apply uh, anytime from tomorrow onwards all right so that's all if you have any questions you can quickly put up in the comments here and i would be more than happy to address your queries uh rama why he says can we apply for both at the same time i think rama if you were a part of the session throughout from the beginning i had mentioned that yes you can apply for both office assistants as well as officer scale one right uh sir mera graduation ka result nahi hai form fill kar sakte hain kya so I think हाँ वो graduation की dates हमने नहीं दी देखी यहाँ पर dates इन्होंने दी होगी I'm sure by the way और भी चीजें हैं जैसे penalty for wrong marks 0.25 marks will be deducted for each wrong answer right one fourth basically one fourth mark one fourth of the marks will be deducted let me just check कि graduation का जिनका result नहीं आया उनको क्या करना है हाँ, so simple है, you see, educational qualification and experience as on the last date of online registration, second of July. I think important point था, I missed it. So second July 2018. याने अगर आपके पास अपनी graduation की जो degree है, वो second July 2018 तक या उसके पहले आ जाती है, then you can apply. Otherwise, you will not be eligible. राइट यही समझ में आ रहा है नोटिफिकेशन देखे तो एज ऑन लास्ट डेट ऑफ ऑनलाइन रजिस्ट्रेशन विच इज सेकेंड जुलाई 2018 सो आपके पास सेकेंड जुलाई तक अपनी ग्रेजुएशन या जो भी एक्सपीरियंस रिक्वायर्ड है उसके सर्टिफिकेट्स होने चाहिए व्हाट इज द एज टू अप्लाई एज डिटेल्स हैव बीन गिवन इन नोटिफिकेशन जेम्स प्लीज चेक दैट वी हैड ऑल्सो मैंशन इट आई थिंक इट इज अप टू थर्टी ईयर्स फॉर ऑफिसर स्केल वन एंड आई गेस अप टू uh 28 years for office assistants right so you can just and, and minimum is 18 years of course check the details exact dates have also been given surya kumar says sir please bataiye hindi and english kya hai surya kumar jahan tak mujhe samajh mein aa raha hai aapka question hindi aur english दो लैंग्वेजेस हैं जिसमें एग्जाम कंडक्ट किया जाएगा राइट जो प्रीमरी एग्जाम और मेन एग्जाम होगा ऑनलाइन फॉर्मेट में ये दो लैंग्वेजेस में कंडक्ट होगा हिंदी और इंग्लिश आप चूज कर सकते हैं आपको कौन सी लैंग्वेज में एग्जाम में पार्टिसिपेट करना है ट्रेंडिंग अपडेट्स ने क्वेश्चन पूछा प्लीज रिप्लाई कैन वी ट्राई फॉर बोथ पोस्ट वीडियो देखिए मैंने दो बार तीन बार ऑलरेडी बोल चुका हूं कि यस यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर बोथ द पोस्ट राइट क्लरिकल कैडर एंड ऑफिस कैडर यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर बोथ ऑफ इट ये एनआर क्या है वेकेंसी लिस्ट में राजीव शंकर ने पूछा है एनआर आई थिंक एनआर इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड उन्होंने दिया होगा एनआर का मतलब एनआर का मतलब होगा नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एस एज आई नो देखते हैं कहीं पर एक्चुअली मैंशन किया गया है क्या
तो इन बैंक में रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है नो रिक्वायरमेंट बेसिकली नॉट रिक्वायर्ड और नो रिक्वायरमेंट ये नॉट अवेलेबल डेटा इज नॉट अवेलेबल क्योंकि अगर नो no रिक्वायरमेंट है तो काफी जगह पे उन्होंने जीरो भी दिया है तो इनके लिए भी जीरो मेंशन कर सकते थे बट एनआर मेंशन किया इसका मतलब डेटा अवेलेबल नहीं है या इन बैंक्स ने अभी तक रिक्वायरमेंट दी नहीं होगी अपनी या जो भी है आप उतना डिटेल में हमें क्यों जाना है मतलब अप्लाई करें पर्टिकुलर स्टेट के लिए नॉट रिपोर्टेड या नॉट रिपोर्टेड थैंक यू विकास आहूजा थैंक यू सो मच ट्राइंग टू रिकॉल वॉट एक्टली आर स्टैंड फॉर द राइट नॉट रिक्वाइड इज नॉट नॉट रिपोर्टेड सो द बैंक हैव नॉट रिपोर्टेड द नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज एंड हेंस इट इज स्टिल एन आर Amit Agarwal says is experienced must experience is not a must experience is a must for officer skill 2 and officer skill 3 minimum 2 years up to 5 years details have been given there you can just check that Rajesh Lakshmi says beginners kya kare beginners immediately uh, preparation start kare aur kya keh sakta hu maine bhi bola hai na right start your preparation right away i think the best way to start it should not sound ke main aap को सबको एग्जाम पर प्लेटफॉर्म पे पुश कर रहा हूँ योर चॉइस आप चाहें तो सब्सक्राइब करें या ना करें फ्री कोचिंग है लिमिटेड कंटेंट अवेलेबल है आप एक्सप्लोर uh, कर सकते हैं सो आई थिंक अगर आपको कोई आइडिया नहीं है और आप चाहते हो कि एक स्टडी प्लान हो आपके पास सो यू शुड साइन अप इमीडिएटली फॉर द फ्री कोचिंग बाई टैलेंट स्प्रिंट एड्रेस है टैलेंट स्प्रिंट डॉट कॉम स्लैश एग्जाम पर एग्जाम डेट फॉर बोथ पोस्ट आर डिफरेंट इज देर एनी चांस फॉर सेम डे एग्जाम वाई डू यून आस दिस क्वेश्चन आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड आई मीन दिस टू मी साउंड स्टूपिट दिया गया है बोथ द डेट्स आर डिफरेंट देन वाई वाई विल देर बी ए चांस ऑफ कंडक्टिंग द एग्जाम ऑन द सेम डे वाई विल दे डू इट दे हैव अलाउड यू टू अपियर फॉर बोथ द एग्जाम्स हाउ कैन दे कंडक्ट बोथ द एग्जाम्स ऑन द सेम डे एंड स्क्रू दम सेल्स अप दे विल नॉट डू इट विकास आहूजा पूछ रहे हैं ड्रेस रिहर्सल ओनली फॉर टैलेंट स्प्रिंट ओके सो दिस इज आउट ऑफ सिलेबस क्वेश्चन बट नाउ दैट यू वाज लेट मी आंसर ड्रेस रिहर्सल इज ओनली फॉर टैलेंट स्प्रिंट स्टूडेंट्स फॉर दोज आर नॉट अवेयर लेट मी टेल यू वी आर कंडक्टिंग ए ड्रेस रिहर्सल नाउ वॉट इज ड्रेस रिहर्सल ड्रेस रिहर्सल इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज इज रिहर्सल और प्रैक्टिस इन द कॉस्ट्यूम इन द ड्रेस लाइक जैसे ट्वेंटी सिक्स डे ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी रिपब्लिक डे की जो परेड होती है उसकी एक ड्रेस रिहर्सल होती है दो दिन पहले तीन दिन पहले जिसमें सेम कॉस्ट्यूम सेम प्रॉप्स को लेकर प्रैक्टिस की जाती है राइट right? वैसे ही कोई अगर स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस हो तो एक ड्रेस रिहर्सल होती है तो वी आर एट टैलेंट स्पिन डूइंग द सेम थिंग फॉर योर एस बी आई पी ओ एग्जाम ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट द एस बी आई पी ओ एग्जाम स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई ऑनलाइन प्रैक्टिस सभी लोग करते हैं यू कैन टेक प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट ऑनलाइन वी ऑल्सो हैव लाइक मोर देन ट्वेंटी प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट मॉक टेस्ट फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस देर बट देन वी आर कंडक्टिंग एन एग्जाम ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ जून एट फिजिकल सेंटर्स इन टेन सेंटर्स इन इन टेन सिटीज बेसिकली राइट फिजिकल physical exam doesn't mean on paper exam will be online but physical centers so you have to apply for that uh, dress rehearsal this is being called dress rehearsal you have to apply for that rehearsal today is the last day to apply i repeat today is the last day to apply for the sbipo dress rehearsal which is being conducted by talentsment right how do you apply log in to our platform and then you can just apply log into the platform examprep.talentsment.com right so today is the last day to apply for dress rehearsal based on your application we will allot a center to you in those 10 cities right uh, you will be able to download the admit card from 13th june onwards today is the last day to apply 13th june onwards you will be able to download the admit card or call letter you have to take the print out of that call letter and exam will be held on 16th june in the 10 cities so you go to the examination center your venue details examination slot time everything will be given there produce yourself on that day that time at that place and after being after your hall ticket verification admit card or call letter verification you will be allowed to take the exam on 16th june and it will be like a real examination right you will have many other students sitting along with you taking the same exam right and after the exam is over on 16th june on 21st of june we will release the national level results so that you will know what happened at uh, across the country for this exam right also for people who are not from these ten cities you can take the same exam online from your home it will be available on talent sprint's website i mean uh, you can just log into our learning platform and take the exam online if you are not from those ten cities 
for people who are from those 10 cities, I think it makes no sense to take the exam online from your home. You should take the exam at the center. Okay, so this is the dress rehearsal. Yes, it is available only for talent sprints, advanced coaching students. If you want to know more details, just log into the website on examprep.talentsprint.com. Uh, so Nishi Sharma says uh, that if my regional language is Hindi, as I'm from Bihar, uh, can I appear for English test? That is your choice. You can still appear for English test. You don't have to see, understand that English or Hindi language in the main examination has got nothing to do with your proficiency, right? Nishi, because you are from Bihar, you are getting this doubt. But somebody who's from Andhra Pradesh, what should he think of? Because his regional language is Telugu. Ab Telugu to par diya hi nahi hai. Right, only English and the other two choices. So that's only a test of your language, which is either English or Hindi. It won't be in any other language. So you can choose any one. Even if your local language is Hindi, you can go for English there or, or Hindi. Right? It, it is not linked to your local language. Is minimum percentage required in graduation? No. There's no minimum percentage required in graduation for office assistants and officers scale one. Minimum percentage is required for officers scale two, scale three. Uh, categories. Suvadip so, Sarkar says, Sir, in West Bengal, there is no vacancy for officers scale 1. Hum log kaha se form bharein? Uh, bhai, ab form kaha se bharein? West Bengal se agar aap ho, proficiency Bengali mein chahi hogi. Right? To sirf office assistance ka hi choice hai. But let me just check. I mean, mujhe numbers yaad nahi hai. So, West Bengal, you are saying, yeah, we have uh, Bangya Gramin Vikas Bank, Pashchim Banga Gramin Bank, and Uttar Banga Shetriya Gramin Bank. Tino hi banks me vacancies nahi hai. Matlab, do banks ne zero declare kiya hai. Or jo Uttar Banga Shetriya Gramin Bank hai, inone report nahi kiya apne numbers. So, unfortunately, uh, yar, aapke state me officer scale one ki koi vacancy nahi hai. But I think office assistance ki hogi. Yeah. 64 vacancies हैं, so try करें उसके लिए, और तो क्या कर सकते हैं? या फिर अगर आपकी proficiency हो, दूसरे languages में, और जो requirements अगर notification में दी गई हैं, कि कैसे वो proficiency check करेंगे, तो आप दूसरे states के लिए पे apply कर सकते हो. What about pay scale? Well, notification में तो कुछ दिया नहीं गया है, as far as I know. Right, they have not mentioned about the pay scale anywhere. But let me tell you, it is, it will be, you know, it will be similar to, it will not be exactly the same as IBPS clerks or IBPS POs, but it will be similar to that. Yeah. And all said and done, government job, not like a government job, but you know, kind of government job, secured, right? And and I think it, it also has a social cause, right? I mean, financial inclusion is very, very important for the economy to grow and the country to grow. So if you associate yourselves with these things, then the pay scale shouldn't really matter. And I think, yeah, it's not given here in the notification. We can find it out, make it available on our website, the data. In fact, I think uh, in our website it is available. The pay scale for IBPS RRB uh, is also available. I don't remember the number, so I don't want to, uh, you know, give you some wrong information. But yeah, on the help center of Talent Spend, you will find pay scale for all the uh, exams, all, all the different jobs, right? There are like some 20 or 21 jobs that we have listed, bank and government jobs and their pay skills. Charan Sai says, I completed my graduation this year but did not get the certificate. Can we apply for the job or not? Well, Charan, I think what happens is they will check the date which is printed on your certificate. While you have completed your graduation, you may get the certificate two months later, doesn't matter. But your certificate should say that you completed your graduation on or before 2nd of July. You can apply, which I am sure will be the case, right? I mean, while they take time to declare the results and, uh, you know, give you the certificates, if you are confident that the certificate would say on or before 2nd of July, you can apply.
is basic computer certificate required for these jobs i don't think so ajay kumar they will test your computer proficiency in the main examination computer knowledge in the main examination you don't need a certificate as such however check in detail in the list of documents if they have mentioned मेरे क्वेश्चन को आंसर करो इफ आई सेलेक्ट बोथ स्टेट्स आंध्र प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना वेल दैट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बिकॉज बोथ द स्टेट्स ऑफ गॉट द रीजनल लैंग्वेज एस तेलुगु एज फार एज आई कैन थिंक ऑफ राइट शुड हैव तेलुगु या आंध्र प्रदेश हैज तेलुगु एंड वेज तेलंगाना तेलंगाना इज ऑल्सो गॉट तेलुगु सो आई थिंक यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर बोथ द स्टेट्स See, let the application start tomorrow. What we will do is, as soon as the application starts, uh, as soon as the application starts, we will we will ourselves apply for the exam and tell you, uh, show, you know, give you the video which tells you how to apply, and that will give us a clarity as to how do you select the state or how do you select. I mean, will you select the state or a language? It will start only tomorrow, so don't worry. We will post a video on how to apply for uh, these exams, for this particular exam. Yeah. इंटरव्यू होगा आफ्टर क्लियरिंग द मेन एग्जाम वेल ये भी मैं पहले आंसर कर चुका हूँ अगर आप ऑफिस स्केल वन क्लियर करते हो मेन एग्जाम तो इंटरव्यू होगा ऑफिस असिस्टेंस के लिए इंटरव्यू नहीं होगा और आई थिंक डन विद द क्वेश्चन आई एम श्योर मेनी ऑफ दीज आर रिडंडेंट और रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन विच हैव ऑलरेडी बीन कवर्ड थ्रू द सेशन हियर सो I think I would summarize saying that there's a wonderful opportunity. Eight thousand plus vacancies across various regions, or rather, fifty-six participating banks, the regional rural banks, which are going to recruit officers, scale one, scale two, scale three, and office assistants uh, in in these banks, right? So, uh, I think preparation has already begun for most of you, because you must have applied for SBA PO, SBA clerks, and the other government exams that are happening now. so great chance and you must apply for the exam have no second thoughts uh, whether i should apply not apply and all that i think you should all apply for the exam and give it a chance because you never know what's going to happen right whether you'll be able to crack po or clerks sba po sba clerks ibps po ibps clerks or sscg it's good to aspire for sba po you should aim that but there's always uh, a plan b that you should have right i mean again there are different ways of looking at it some of uh, the people also believe that having a plan b means that you are not fully ready for plan a but uh, i think given the number of vacancies and the kind of competition we have you should all try for it right there's nothing wrong in applying for the examination so give it a shot apply for this exam and make the most of this limited 60 days that you have so that you can maximize the preparation and be fully geared up for the exam which is going to happen in the month of august and september right all the best uh, for your preparation all the best for your exam we will meet again uh, with 60 day study plan in our uh, learning portal which is examprep.talentspin.com if you have not signed up for our free coaching already details are available talentspin.com/examprep is the website go there and get access to your free coaching account by talentsprint right away All the very best keep practicing and take very good care of yourselves bye